Can you hear me, everybody? Coming to you from beyond the grave. No, but I don't know if chat's working legitimately because I don't see any chat here. And the second I see someone, I'll show my face. I refuse, absolutely refuse to go officially live with video until I see someone in the chat. Because I don't know if you're here. I don't know if you're here or not. No, I'm not going to do it. <clears throat> Maybe I will. Yeah, I'll do it. Hey, guys, what's going on? Uh, oh, there's everybody. Here you, Hal Cowley, and I am Xavier and Courtney Brown, and Mr. Billzil. Cool. Yeah, it's got some cool names going on here. Oh, and Courtney Bowman with the E logo emoji. Oh, Ghost Peter. Uh-oh. <laughs> Malga, yes, we are. I'm here. I'm real. Nice. I'm here. I'm here. Ah. Caught you on that. No, it's there forever. Even if you delete it, I'm going to screenshot it. Big fresh start. Hey, what's going on? Um, As you can see, I'm decked out in my official Goody Reader t-shirt. If you guys want one, it's not for sale. <laughs> I mean, we can sell it. We don't do merch. I mean, if you guys really want to see merch, we can start doing that. Got my UCC brand coffee ready for the showcase. Oh, man, I don't got UCC today. But I have Blackfire. Look at that. It's Blackfire in like this... I don't even know what you call that argyle like that that triangular ba it's it's not a that, that's a that's a patterned can it really is and it's like this blue flame this is made by kirian actually the guys that make um beer and stuff but uh yeah this is a really nice one um i guess i could crack one. Oh, i already had a cup today nah if if this gets really interesting if this if this live gets super interesting i'll crack out one for you um ucc is great <clears throat> Very good. Uh, what's going on, everybody? I have a sneaking suspicion that you guys voted the Amazon for today's live strictly because it's an Amazon, rather than you actually wanting to see it. Because if you saw the video we did, it wasn't very interesting. But out of 150 people, 52% voted the Amazon. <clears throat> pardon, pardon me. And uh, almost no one voted the other two. It might just because it might just be because of the power of Amazon and how it beats out High Sense and High Read. Because right now, honestly, there's not a lot. I'm looking around my office like there's not a lot. We did the Dasung. We did like a lot of stuff. So, um, uh, oh, I like Georgia. They make de decent canned coffee. Yeah, Georgia is Coca Cola company, and I don't drink Coke. And uh, yeah. <clears throat> Pardon me. Oh, my tea is gone. Oh, no, there it is. I'm going to go off camera. Hold on. <clears throat> my throat's acting up today. Yeah, um, what do you call it? Um, uh, Coca-Cola uh, branded drinks can be good, yeah. Coca-Cola itself, I don't touch that stuff. If, if it can melt a penny, I, I don't really like the idea of putting it in my body. So, anyways, here is the secret Kindle. <clears throat> If you guys are not caught up with what's been going on, we did a uh, unboxing e-paper on this. And um, what it was is that uh, Amazon left China in terms of like, the Kindle operations. Um, I don't know if Amazon Marketplace left China. Actually, let's look at that right now. Amazon.cn. I don't think Amazon left China, or did they? No, they still have Amazon.cn. That's right. I think the Kindle and all the operations in the store and everything else, they all left China. So what that means is that uh, all these Chinese Kindles are gone. And if you're a Fairweather e-reader fan, which is totally fine because, you know, not everyone is as deeply nerdy as us when it comes to that. Um, you'll you'll be like, well, so what? what's so important about this? Well, the thing is, is that they actually made a couple exclusive copies to China only. The Kindle 558, which was a release, I think, 2018 or 19, and the Kindle X Migu, which is a dual boot OS. You can actually get the Amazon OS at the top, or you actually click and it turns into a Migu device, a Migu being a bookstore, kind of like Chapters Indigo uh, in, in Canada, Barnes & Noble in the States, or, say, Rakuten Books in Japan. So it's kind of like the local book store in China that, you know, went on to an ebook reader. And it was the first time, and I think only time, Amazon has ever collaborated with any, div any other manufacturer in terms of the, the, the Kindle. 
Yeah, I can't think of any other actual manufacturer collaboration. Not talking about Goodreads and things like that, but I mean, the actual, like, you know how Barnes & Noble did the Samsung thing, uh, and Kobo now does Rakuten because they're, they're owned by the parent company Rakuten. Amazon, that was the only time in the whole world. And, like, the, 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 the Japanese Kindle manga model, that wasn't a collaboration. That was just Amazon Japan. But this genuinely was Amazon and a different company, Migu, coming together. It was the only time that happened. So if you watched Unboxing ePaper, which, unfortunately, the contest is closed and we're going to announce the winner tomorrow um yeah tomorrow or maybe today no today we're gonna do the uh, raffle we had a sick raffle going on and we're gonna do a raffle every month we had a sick raffle going on you know when you go to like a baseball game and you go to like that wooden hut where they sell like the ice cream and stuff uh sometimes they sell those raffle tickets they're in like spools and they pull it off it's like how many you want two okay that'll be five bucks and then later they're like oh whoever won the uh whoever has uh, raffle number 005 won the baseball bat today like that kind of thing so we did a raffle except we did it on a dpt rp1 which is a we <laughs> we kind of thought about it and we're like should we do something smaller and we're like no because that's what the contests are for that's what the free contests are for the ones that we do for free and then the unboxing e-paper is when we do a, a quick video we do an unboxing and review all in one sorry it's really hot in here and uh then we give it away at the end that, and actually this is going away to i'm super being nice with it and we're gonna of course wipe it down with alcohol and um uh, sanitize it before we put it back in the box uh this is just used on a very clean surface um it's it's good to go so we're not gonna damage it or anything like that and uh, this will be sent off to the winner this actual thing but we wanted to squeeze in alive here so unfortunately oh yeah so anyways the raffle uh we're gonna be announcing the winner i think today we'll we'll be able to just plug everyone's name in there everyone who ordered a raffle ticket and uh we'll see who wins we'll ship it off to them and um yeah uh we've been man i think uh we we, we had a a contest winner from like these weird places, man, like Reunion, you know, like it's like a chain of islands out in north of Africa, but it's French. Uh, we had someone in, um, I think we had someone in like uh, Bosnia and Herzegovina won something. This is crazy, man. All over the place. Oh, and um, uh, uh, I was talked about today. Who won something? Now the Sony, the Sony T2 that we did a uh, contest on, someone from Luxembourg won that a country you don't hear of very often but yeah anyways back to this because you guys aren't asking any questions i'm just kind of you know vamping rambling i don't know the word so um yeah let's do a top down so unfortunately we wanted to see something like you know super super market specific chinese market specific but nothing ever happened oh i didn't zoom in is that a zoom in i didn't zoom in let me zoom in don't worry let me take a second Doo -doo -doo -doo. perfect you know that little jingle? If you know it, I'll give you 10 rupees. Get it? Yeah. Okay. Uh, all right. So here is everything. Wow, that was a quick timeout. Let's change that. Let's look around while we're here. If you guys want to ask anything, here we are. Oh, it updated on me. That did not look the same. Oh, that's the new screen that some of the older Kindles got. Everything's different now. Device options. Oh, Mr. Bilzil said here in Brazil. Does that does your name Mr. Bilzil have anything to do with you being in Brazil? Was that because that's really close. That's as close as two words can possibly be. So I kind of feel like you did that on purpose. Uh, what am I doing here? Device advanced options. I can't remember where it is. Device time. Where is timeout? Someone know? I will give you one hundred trillion Zimbabwe dollars if you tell me where the timeout is i cannot remember where it is reading options can't be there where is it De no i was in it device options display cover device info device passcode reset advanced options where's that thing where it's like it you know it, it sets the timeout one rupee to japanese yen <laughs> oh man actually you know what i did get something from a buddy of mine yesterday look at that it's a uh, in Japan they have five dollar coins. Five hundred yen is five hundred pennies. Therefore, it's you know a hundred yen is a dollar. So they just don't use the decimal point. This one is a uh, Tokyo twenty twenty Olympics uh, coin. It's kind of cool. So anyways, um, I don't know where it is. I'll just keep you know turning it on if it times out. So we were like, oh man, this is gonna be so cool if there's like a secret store or something, and, and nothing ever happened. And we dug into this device on camera with you guys, and nothing ever happened. And we were like, what, what is, 
why? Why, why did that? Why didn't it have something amazing to it? The only thing Chinese about it is the box art. It says Kindle, and it's like this Chinese writing, and it is embossed to their actually not embossed. It's raised. It's uh, it's like thick print on the box. It's quite nice. The box is nice, and the Kindle is a Chinese screenshotted Kindle, and it says it on the side, and the specs are in Chinese at the back. But that's it, and that was. A little bit disappointing because I, w I wanted to see something like you know it's cool and hidden because they sent this to us they said hey goody reader thank you very much for um your coverage on our device and uh what it was is that michael in the news publication they did um some articles about how amazon kindle and kindle operations was leaving china so amazon.cn reached out to us and they said hey we're gonna send you something so oh that's awesome. Wow, cool. Like, you haven't sent us something since the Migu. When was that? I'm going to look that up. I'm going to look that up until you guys ask a question. Oh, my mom's here. Ola from Vancouver Island. Ola. Uh, let me see here. If I just type in Migu. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, 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 yeah. It'll tell me. So we did the Kindle X Migu. Wow. Oh, that wasn't that long ago. June 5th, 2020. What? That's not long ago at all. <laughs> that was a couple years. Yeah, so anyways, they haven't sent us something for a couple years now. Um, so it's uh, it's very interesting to have gotten something. So they sent it to us. While we did an iFlytech versus Kindle Migu, what a strange... Oh, no, it was an iFlytech and Migu collaboration. And we did that last year. Why do I not remember that? We do a lot of videos. We got like 2,800 video guys. Um, yeah, Nanaimo's cool. Um... One time I was in Nanaimo and I had a Nanaimo bar. You guys know what a Nanaimo bar is? It's one of the three foods that Canada has. Canada has no food. We have food from other places. We have pizza, but we didn't make that. We have pasta, but we didn't make that. We have Chinese food, we didn't make that. We got a Nanaimo bar, Montreal smoked meat sandwich, and poutine. Like, that's it. That's like our food. And anything else you say, like, oh, we have salmon. Well, we didn't invent salmon. So, yeah, um... Wow, this thing, i got to mute that. So anyways, uh, Canadian food is awesome because what they do is Canada is just foreigners that are born and, you know, immigrate, emigrated from places and immigrated into Canada. So we got cuisine up the yin-yang, man. We got every, every single possible cuisine in Canada. I mean, there wasn't anything you can't get. I mean, if you want Ethiopian food, we have it. They got this chain called the Afghan Horsemen where they, like, cook meat on a big hot stone. Jeez, man, you get anything. JD Prunette, the uh, update. Oh, yeah, let's get back down here. The update reminds me, uh, is this a firmware similar to the regular Kindles? Now it's got to go through some changes. You know, the only thing, JD, that this thing has that I've noticed that is specific to this model is... Wait, is that... Yeah, okay, good. Is that when you access the store globally, because this is a Chinese Kindle and we're conducting this in Japan, it's not connecting to the Japanese store. This is the Kindle.com store. And it has an Audible store, which the Japanese devices don't get. And and you don't have... And you have Bluetooth. But the Japanese devices don't have... They have Bluetooth. They just know setting for it. So, that's interesting. And that's the only interesting thing I, I can tell you. Is that this doesn't have anything specific to it. And when you turn it on, it's like, choose your language. And it's like, okay, English. And then it's like, sign in. And you're like, okay. And then it's just a Kindle. I mean, there's nothing specific about it. There really isn't. And um, unfortunately, uh, yeah, it's just uh, it's just a run-of-the-mill Kindle. Um, How Kelly says, is it, it's like a wafer with nuts? No, man. No. <laughs> a Nanaimo bar is <laughs> one of the sweetest things you could ever buy. It's like a solidified, congealed, crumbly custard layer with some coconut mash and then a layer of just flat tempered chocolate with a layer of like kind of a brownie-ish meat at the bottom. And it's sweet, man. Oh my lord, it's sweet. Yeah, it's good. I mean, dang, you eat that and you're just like, oh, oh, I really shouldn't. And then you just down it. Uh, let's see here. Renzo. I don't think I've ever heard you. Pineapple pizza was invented in Canada, apparently. Maybe. I don't know. 
Uh, Hal Kelly, I'd love to try. Yeah, Renzo Macanelli by a Danish guy. That is such a world invention then, if you're saying Italian food in Canada by a Danish dude using a su southeastern Asian fruit. I don't know if that's where it's, you know, came from, that particular genus of fruit, but there's a ton of pineapples in Southeast Asia. Uh, Nanaimo, yeah, my mom just said it there. Nanaimo bar is so sweet, it blows your mind. It really is. Sweeter than cream soda? Yeah, it, it is. Nanaimo <laughs> bar should be illegal. Yeah, I remember. And when you buy it, you can go to the store and buy a tray of it. So it looks like, you know, it's like a it's like a tray like that, and it's like cross-hatched cut, right? And you're like, oh, I'll just have a couple. No, you won't. No, you're going to have like half a bar, and you're going to put that down. Does searching DS turn off sleep timer? Does searching that DS turn off sleep timer? timer uh, oh wait are you you mean like on the store or where are you asking okay so go home okay wait i actually don't know how to go home you just keep xing everything out okay search kindle can i do that little squiggle oh there it is where's the squiggle squiggle ds watch you trick me and brick my machine Was that some secret code? Do you now have access to all of, all of my stuff? Because I don't know what that did. Michael Cross, do you know way more than we do? Because I don't know what that did. Uh, hey, first live attendance here. Great, you're online looking for an Ian phone, but I can black... But can I black out the display? Ian Jalili said. Um, oh, how Kelly Turkish Delight's pretty sweet too, yeah. Uh, Ian... Do you mean... Oh, thank you for stopping by. That's great. Um, Ying Phone, you mean you want to do a black and white swap? So you want the whites to be black and the black to be white, so a reverse contrast? If so, most Android-driven devices can force that. Yeah. So if you get yourself... Depends on how big of a phone you want. If you want a big brick, you can get an A7. If you want color, you can get an A7CC. Um, if you want um, a normal phone you can get an a5 pro oh wait actually yeah i was gonna we're we got to send one of these to our labs there we go yeah <laughs> going right here wow you ask anything i got it <laughs> you want a bag of cashews yeah <laughs> uh, i don't snack on candies and chocolates at my desk because i'm at my desk a lot so if i did that i know cashews are calorie dense but they're quite nice and quite good for you and i think they have both magnesium and manganese oh man the a9 is great if you want to save some money a5 pro with a uh, 64 no 128 gig storage is really good uh you can go for the a9 yep a9 is really good if you want something that isn't an actual cell phone but just kind of looks like a phone you get yourself a touch they got three versions of three versions of touch and you can get a high sense high reader they got a lot of choices man uh basically any question you have in regards to an e-ink phone, high sense. Don't look at anyone else. I don't care who tells you what. Oh, Mudita's good. No, they're not. Oh, but Onyx has a, a smartphone, uh, uh, an e-ink smartphone. Yeah, from like eight years ago, and it doesn't work now. Oh, how about uh, the WeChat phone? No, stop it. High sense is the only company that you should do business with if you're in the market for a, a, an e-ink smartphone. Don't buy anything else. Siswoo Dark Moon R9. Don't do it. Just stop because it's really it. I can't hear the cicadas. There's a couple out there. No, you can't really see them. Um, they're they're just like they're all over the place. But yeah, the recent updates killed this command. Oh, that's cool. Oh man, this just updated overnight. No joke. Because when we did the um, unboxing e paper, it didn't look like this. E paper. The e paper did not look like this, but now it does, and it seemed to have updated. I'll really squiggle. What do you call that thing? The squiggle. It's on, like, you know, to the left of the number one key. It's not a dash. It's not an underscore. It's called something. Everything has a name. Like, the and is called an amper ampersand. You know what I mean? So, yeah. I'm heavy in personalization looking for a designer look on a phone. Designer look on a phone. You mean something that, like, looks cool? The best looking ink phone? Probably, uh, probably the A9. A9 looks the best. It's kind of, like, stylistically the nicest. Yeah. And where does Hisense sit with affordability? You see, Mom, the point, the thing is about Hisense is that you don't have a choice because they're the only guys that... Oh, Wave Dash, yeah. Uh, Tilde, oh man, you you guys watch too or what? Are we going to have to talk about Smash now? Um, 
the uh, the Hisense phones are the Hisense is the only company that is making phones properly in a working capacity. Everyone else that tries a phone, it's a one-off. Oh, look at this phone. It's not good. Oh, Docomo did this phone with NEC. It's not good. Just, or Kyocera. Just get Hisense. They're the only guys. So when it comes to price, it's like, well, they've cornered the market. It doesn't really matter. But li luckily, they do have like nine models. So you can always choose something that um, fits you. Installing some launchers and maybe even mod the body with a gloss back end. Oh, wow. Um, well, yes, the Hisense can have... Um, uh, launchers of course mod the body you could I mean sky's the limit if you have money and time then sure you can do anything you want but uh it's not gonna be easy but you just get a case you know what I mean just just buy a case oh Rod Hernandez hey from Mexico he emphasized the meh I know the x you don't say but do you say it in any situation or just every x is just Oh, it's called a tilde. Oh, I thought you were talking about Smash. Because there's a guy named Tilde. Oh. That's called a tilde? I'm going to look that up because I don't want to, like, n implant that into my mind and say that forever and be wrong. So you could be right. I don't know. Um, Yes. So are you guys asking anything about this or what are we going to do here? Because we're going to be wrapped up in about eight minutes here. But anyways... Is this worth buying? No, because it's a 2016. It says right on the box. <laughs> so that means it's... That's old, man. That's f six years old. In the world of e-readers, that is ancient. Uh, that was an accident, Rod. No, that's, I assumed so. Or maybe I didn't assume so. But yeah, get back to that X question, because I'm curious about that. Because I know, like, in Spanish, you don't say J's, but in... Portuguese you say J's so yeah greeting from Venezuela oh Ivan how much is a cheeseburger right now in Venezuela I would like to know please tell me and like a roll of toilet paper because I hear like some stuff's going on down there right now uh thanks for the help keep up the good work no problem Ian ask questions any anytime uh Rod Hernandez that's the Chinese one yes it is and um it's not uh I am Xavier. This is a tilde. Okay, well, it's two people that said that, unless you guys are, like, in cahoots with each other. That's, um... What am I looking at? That's the Chinese... Yeah, this is the Chinese one. Uh, unfortunately, other than the box art, nothing really Chinese going on. The X is a J sound. Mexico. Oh, yeah, but then just turns into Mexico. Jalapeno. Right. Wait a minute. So under no circumstances do you ever say X and ever say J. I don't know, man. Xavier, man. That's someone in. That's someone who is in cahoots. That's exactly what they would say. No, you're banned. How do I ban you? Right there. Banned. No, I can't. I'm, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Uh, this is um, up for grabs by the people that have already entered. So you guys, unless you maybe entered the the... Uh, what do you call the, um, did any of you enter the, or get a comment in to the unboxing e-paper? Because uh, the first 50 are going to be in the running for this. Uh, Rod Hernandez, yes. Okay, so there's no, so X is a J, but you don't say the J, so an X is just nothing, and a J is nothing. <laughs> okay, Javier, yeah. Because, like, there's this dude who lived near my parents' house. It said, like, Casa A-N-J-O-S. And I was like, oh, Anjos. And he was like, no, it's Anjos. And I was like, what? And he's like, yeah, because it's it's Portuguese. I was like, oh, Ivan, I thought hamburgers were like the equivalent of like $25 or something because a stack of Venezuela dollars is like nothing now, right? And you guys have to like have someone who lives outside of the country to put money in because like a roll of toilet paper costs you like a month's salary or something like that. There's all these videos on on YouTube about it. I thought there's like next level massive inflation uh ivan unfortunately it's already maxed out so the people who did enter if i look at what is going on right now with the secret e-reader video there's 68 comments which means there's an overflow of 18 so unfortunately yeah now i want a jalapeno <laughs> oh man sounds like few sometimes we feel like we're waiting for the next oasis oh yeah someone asked that hold on saku hello were the new Kindle DX rumors ever corroborated? No. I don't know anything about it. Uh, they didn't tell us anything. 
uh, and even if they did, we'd have an NDA and we can't talk about it. But yeah, um, uh, we don't know anything about that. Uh, there's still a massive following for the, um, what do you call it? The Kindle DX people to this day are like swearing by it. They still buy it. They still buy used bodies and they buy parts on eBay. They buy like $12 batteries and like $30 screens and it's still, oh Rod, you're in it. Okay. Well, then it's yours. No, we put everyone's name into... First, we look at the comments to see if anyone says, I don't want it, because we don't want it going to someone who doesn't want it, because then that's a waste. So then the 51st comment would drop down, you know what I mean? Some stuff like that. Uh, I think they're waiting for some breakthrough in tech. Amazon has never paved the way for anything. They weren't the first to make e-readers. They were years behind Sony. They weren't the first to do audio. They weren't the first to do glow light. They sit back. I say this every time. They sit back and they say, oh, is that working? No, it's not. I don't want to do it. Oh, that's working. Oh, let's do it. And they do it better and they do it on a bigger scale and they do it just, it's just way better. The way the in terms of e-book readers, you can't argue with Kindle. You just can't. It's the best selling, most widespread just most stable device you can possibly get is it plain looking sure is it is it just run of the mill kind of but it's it's purpose built you get it it works it's kindle it's amazon it's it's, it's you can't argue with it it's just it's a, it's what everyone is uses at the as the benchmark people that innovate you know they just try to one up amazon and they try to do stuff before them but then amazon just goes right in and does it uh, the only thing I think Amazon really made a mistake with with was um, cannibalizing the uh, Voyage because that was just weird. Uh, can Kindle still be jailbroken? If you have a computer and like glasses with tape in the middle, you can unlock anything. Anything. I've seen people put Android on. Uh, um. Who's a, a Kevin Bossy who stops by every once in a while? He's like, he knows way more than we do about e-readers, and he like did some crazy stuff on the back end of some Kobos, like changing things on like the the BIOS or something. Like he just doesn't go to the OS; he goes into the actual like heart of the PCB and he changes it so that it just runs something else. Oh man, it's crazy. So yeah, you can do anything with anything, anytime, as long as you know what you're doing. Yeah, so did you, so did they send you old stock? That's exactly what they did, Rod. There's no, there's no way. Oh, dude, the, Rod, the key is that if you don't have tape on your glasses, no. That means you're not working hard enough. Uh, they said, why would they send us, very much appreciated, but why would they send us a 2016? Look at that. 2016 Amazon. Why would you do that? Very nice gesture. We love it. Love collaborating with all these countries and companies, and it's great, but it just seems strange. Several generations old. I mean, it could have been anything, but yeah. I mean, the Kindle Oasis 3 is old now. It's like three and a half years old. So this is this is like on crutches. But, um, oh, Joe McPlumbers has tape on his glasses for 60 years. This guy's IQ is through the roof then. Just no roof on the house at this point all right that's about it you guys didn't ask any questions about this but that's fine except for someone did who's that guy that said the the tilde ds michael cross very nice thank you didn't work if you guys entered the draw you will win this 100 percent. one of you will get it um we have man i don't even know how many contests we've done. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna look at that real quick. If I go to YouTube and just type in contest on our videos, how many results come up? Wow, just with the word contest. So if we excluded the word contest, there's bound to be more results. So like if we said win a free thing. But anytime we actually said the word contest, we have given away 107 devices and that doesn't include facebook draws live draws anything unboxing e-paper and um what do you call uh, the raffles oh my lord we've given over a hundred 112 it says actually at one point i read you can go on our channel um we gave away three android tablets back in 2018 
three to one person. We did a mystery box. Oh, we should do that again. Yeah, we gave away a lot of stuff. So yeah, someone's going to get this. It's going to be great. Uh, and it will work. It, it, it obviously will work in your zone and, it'll, and it will connect to Amazon.com regardless of what country you're in, I think, unless they've locked certain ones out. I don't know, but yeah. Uh, I have a tw Renzo said, I have a 2015 Kindle still going strong. Yep, for sure. Mike R, what's the idea of how much prices will drop for current gens when the next gens come out from Amazon? Mike, man, Amazon... It's like sometimes they have these crazy say put an Amazon Kindle on your watch list and you'll see what happens. You'll wake up to an email that says like $40 off of a 70. I've, I've bought a Kindle for no reason personally, just because it was like $39 factory sealed. And you know, we bring it in and we give it to someone on staff or give it to family members, stuff like that. But like, it's so cheap because they don't make, they make some money on the, the device sale, of course, but that's not their go-to. It's the services and the subscriptions and the digital content and the infrastructure they've built that you utilize this as a portal to go into the Amazon world and say, buy this book, buy this book, buy this book, more and more and more like that. That's how they make their money. So that's why they're able to sell you a Kindle for rock bottom prices so it's hard to say what the actual drop is because it doesn't seem consistent sometimes the price drops as an msrp and sometimes there's a crazy sale and sometimes they drop it based off of them uh releasing something else yeah so for sure there is massive drops on these but um as you see from people saying Renzo, for example, he has a 2015 kindle still going strong kindle uh ebook readers you know what? I think Renzo, 2015 is when it kind of started. Uh, the whole planned obsolescence thing. They don't want you to buy something and have it work for five years, six years, eight years. They don't want that because then they don't make any more money. They want you. That's Why do you think Apple releases a new something that they make you trade in every year? Sony releases like two to three flagships a year. Because then it's like, oh, I just got my $1,000 phone. Oh, this is the next big thing. You're like, I'll Damn it. Okay, I'll trade it in. Oh, we'll give you 400. Ugh. Well, at least I get 400 off of 1000, right? No, it's 1400. Oh. All right, well, it's just 1000 now. And the cycle continues. So like, yeah, they don't want you they don't want you buying one thing. They don't want to sell you one thing and it works forever. No, man. Planned obsolescence is in pretty much every industry. Unless you buy something really really good from the get-go, you buy like a $2000 oak table versus a $19 IKEA table, which is just, you know, sawdust and glue mixed together you know compressed with wrapped in vinyl so yeah anyways um kindle is overdue with their new oasis yes they are the last oasis came out in 2018 the oasis 3 came out in 2019 but it had no changes other than warm lighting and some little tweaks but yeah apple does similar long-term software support yeah but you know not with everything you know some of the older apple devices don't work now same with uh, a lot of samsung devices and sony devices and asus they're like oh we we guarantee three year service and you know for, for updates and it's like oh yeah right wait what happens after three years it's like <laughs> head into your local uh uh what do they call them in the states not wireless wave uh the one that has like a bunch of carriers you know they got like sprint T-Mobile, AT&T, what do you call it, Verizon, anyways, okay, we're all done, thanks guys, um, if you want to see anything, hit us up with some comments down below, let us know what you want to see, uh, we put a poll out, I think, on, on the, the YouTube, and you guys said, how many votes were there, what do you, so, uh, 908 votes, and 47% of you said you want to just see more reviews, we said, like, Amazon Kindle videos, because, you know, a lot of you guys are like, I want to see Amazon stuff, so apparently you don't. Uh, everyone is like, oh, do more historical videos. Well, only 4% of you said that. And, uh, yeah, the rest is like comparisons, but, you know, the half of everybody said uh, e-reader reviews. So we're going to just get back to that. So, yeah. Uh, yeah thanks, Mom. Yeah. And uh, thank you all so much for hitting us up. Uh, Hal Kelly, my mom, Heidi. Rod, JD, Mike R, Renzo, Rod Hernandez, Joe McPlummer, uh, Jamanta, and we have, who else we got here? I am Javier, or Xavier, wait, have I been calling you Xavier this whole time? My 
God, sorry, Javier. <laughs> Ivan. Uh, who else we got? Saku stopped by for the one-off comment there. Ivan M. Mendoza, I said that. Ian Jalili, J.D. Prunette, I said that. Courtney Bowman, Michael Cross. Where's Steven Prosser? Oh, you're banned. Ban. Oh, Kevin Bossy's not here. Banned. Uh, Mr. Bill Zill. Big Fresh Start. Malga. Hal Kelly. Say that? Courtney Bowman said that? I don't know. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. Oh, Diego. Okay. Oh, it's just about to press ban on you, Diego. It's about to ban you. Oh, man. You're here. So you're not banned. No. Xavier is correct. I don't even know what's what anymore, man. You guys are saying all this stuff. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye-bye.